Every drop of everything is potentially art. I'm Bradley Hart, and I make contemporary fine art by using bubble wrap. My palette has 116 colors that I choose between for each painting. I load thousands of syringes with paint in preparation to begin the injection. When approaching a new project, the first and foremost has to start with an image. I've done portraits in the likes of Marilyn Monroe, Kurt Cobain, Michael Jackson, David Bowie, John Lennon, and my current portrait that I'm working on right now is Victoria's B.I.G. I do thoroughly enjoy watching people's responses as they interact with the work. They can imagine if a machine made it, but to see these thousands of bubbles and go, wait a minute, this was done by hand? Sometimes people are stopped by the fact that it's physically bubble wrap. For some people I've ruined it because they're like, no, I have to pop these bubbles. My bubbles are not poppable. The paint dries inside. For the most part, people just are elated to get to experience and take part in something that they didn't think was possible. I originally started using the idea of bubble wrap to play with the cultural trope, whether or not you should touch art or not, after a bunch of experiences with overzealous security guards telling people not to touch art in a museum, leading up to a leftover roll of bubble wrap that was in my studio after my first solo exhibition in New York, and having that aha moment, seeing the bubble wrap going, oh my God, this is the perfect material for the statement I wanted to make. Syringes were the natural and only way to put the paint into bubble wrap. Living with multiple sclerosis and needing to be injecting myself every other day with disease-modifying medications in my thighs, I guess the concept of syringes and needles were in the back of my mind. I was diagnosed when I was 31. I remember the neurologist coming over to my bed in the emergency room. He just came to me and said, well, there's no reason to say this. You have MS. As far as I was concerned, my life is over. I've been very lucky and very thankful for the luck that I've been afforded. The art world just kind of enveloped me and helped lift me up. My studio is an ecosystem. I repurpose and collect everything. And while I don't always know where the pieces are going to be used or go in the future, I imagine that there will always be something to do with them. To date, I've made just over 100 injection paintings. It's been really a big blessing. I'm visually inspired by so many things in the world. There's a lot more depth to it than just the bubbles. 